Hello everyone, my name is Yobin Sen, a final year PhD student in SATU. Today our talk is Improved Security Bounds for Generalized Festival Networks. This is the joint work with Professor Guo and Professor Wang. There are four parts in our talk. The first one is the introduction to Festival Networks. The second one is our contribution. The third one is our proofs for Generalized Festival Networks. The first one is our conclusion. Festail Network is one of the most popular ways to design a block cipher. It iterates several times of the Festail permutation. A Festail permutation uh, usually makes a 2MB input to a 2MB output uh, by a MB function, which is also called a wrong function. This figure is the illustration of classical Festail, which is also called a balanced Festail because the left path and right path input has sent the bit length less than. There are several ways to generalize the classical festival. By replacing the wrong function with expanding or constructing one, we can obtain the unbalanced festival. By alternatively use the expanding and constructing wrong function, we can obtain the alternating festival. By partitioning the input into more than two blocks, we can obtain the type 1, type 2, type 3 phase tails. Uh, these three kinds of also the multi light phase tail. The difference is uh, among these three types is that they use different number of fun fun different number of function in each run. By replacing the underlying primitive with the tickable block cipher, we can obtain the TBC based phase tail. Uh, let's take a, a view of the generalized phase tail considered in our paper. Uh, in our paper, there are to total add value and generalized phase tail. The first one is the unbalanced phase tail. Uh, it uses the constructing wrong function as the constructing wrong, func wrong functions. The second one is the unbalanced phase tail that uses the expanding wrong function. The drawback of the unbalanced phase tail is that we need to resize we need to resize the left and right part in each wrong uh, to make it fit to the underlying wrong functions. Uh, for the third one is the alternating phase tail. You use the uh, constructing and expanding wrong function in an alternative manner, so we don't need to uh resize the left and right half of the input. But we need to use use the constructing and expanding wrong function at the same time. The first one is the numeric alternating phase tail. Uh, this is also used in some formal programming encryption. From the fifth to the seventh are three kinds of multi-line phase tail. The difference is that they use a different number of functions in each run. For example, for four block in block, the type one phase tail use only one function in a single run. The type two phase tail use two function in, in a single run. The type three First, they'll use three functions in a single run. The advantage of this uh, multi line first is that it can uh, expanding the input and the output of the of the underlying run functions. Actually, the input of the block cipher can be much larger than the input to the functions. The final one is the tickable block cipher based phase tail. You use the tickable block cipher as the underlying first underlying wrong function. So uh, besides the two N bit input, we also need a uh, additional trick W. There are some important application of the phase tail for example, the Wiener block cipher that is used the classical phase network. 
The Brookside Ski Track used the Unbalanced Festival Networks. The Bayer Lion Festival used the Alternating Festival Networks. The Cars 256 used the Type 1, and the RC6 used the Type 2, and the Mars used the Type 3 uh, Festival Networks. For the TBC based Festival, uh, it, it can be used to construct double lens checkable block cipher with high security. We now briefly review previous results, prob probability results for this uh, generalized phase tail. For unbalanced alternating type 1, type 2, type 3 phase tail, there are serious work that show they can achieve the best bound security. Pattern also proved a uh, beyond busted bound security for unbalanced face tail. Home and Logo Way prove that uh, these face tails can asymptotically achieve the MB security. More concretely, in a result, they prove that the, these face tails are CCS keyword up to 2 to the n times 1 minus epsilon queries for an epsilon greater than 0. The drawback of the bound is that it requires a large number of long to achieve uh, the asymptotically MB security. On the other hand, for TBC based phase tail by Coron et al., uh, three rounds are proved to have MB security. But MB security is, uh, is not the optimal security. The imprecise to the underlying two proper cipher is n plus w, which is greater than 2n. So with respect to the imprecise, MB security is only birthday tight. Our contribution is improves uh, previous one. More concretely, for the unbalanced alternating type 1, type 2, type 3 phase tail, we improve the coupling energies of Hong and Rugui. Uh, we use a more fine grained energies to achieve almost the same security bound with the nearly half number of rounds. This table is the summary of improved bounds for the generalized phase tail networks. The first current is the khaki skin. The, sec the, the second and third are the previous bound and the, number and the corresponding number of rounds. The fourth and fifth is our, our screen bound and the number of rounds. When the pair number T uh, is reasonably large, uh, our bound uh, is almost the same as local, while we only need a, a half number of rounds. For the TBC based first tail, we give the first uh, coupling exercise, and by using this technique, we prove that this construction can achieve the 2 MB security with the enough number of rounds. This table is the comparison between current at all bounds and our bound. Current at all was current at all proved that three run, uh can have uh MB security and our bound show that with enough number of runs. Uh, uh, this construction can achieve two MB security. The more number of runs, the more security we have. The third part is our proof, our improved proof for this generalized phase tail network. In all our proofs, we use the coupling techniques. So let's have a brief review for this technique. The coupling technique uh, can be used to prove the NCPS security. And now we can leave the NCPS security to CCS security by a composition name. In the NCP indistinguishability game, in the real world, 
the adversary needs to choose Q message at the beginning. And then you can query this message to the block cipher to obtain the un to obtain the corresponding output. In the idea world, the only difference is that the block cipher is now replaced with the red implementation. And so the outputs are simply uh, sample uh, at random uh, without replacement from the set. For convenience, we, we need to use another ideal world. Uh, in the ideal world, we replace the input with Q uh, video that I need for the sample at random without replacement from the set. And we also replace the random permutation with the block cipher. And I think the EK is a permutation. So in the ideal world, the output are also uniformly sample at the written without the space brain from the set. So this ideal world is exactly the same, the output is exactly the same with previous ideal world. And to to distinguish the advantage, uh, the adversary can distinguish the ideal uh, real world from the ideal world. We need to define Q intermediate again. Uh, in the ice world, the first analog inputs are chosen by the adversary, while the remaining Q minus L are picked uniformly at random from the set. So by using hybrid argument, uh, the NCPA security is obtained by summing over the gap uh, between these Q, Q words. Here, mu0 is the distribution of the outputs in the ideal world. Mu L is the distribution of outputs in the else world. Mu Q is the distribution of outputs in the real world. And we need to use the coupling technique to bound the the distance between between the neighbor, the two neighboring walls. A coupling of mu and nu is the distribution run down on the space such that the marginal distribution of lambda uh, is mu and nu. So we will use the coupling demo to bound the distance between the mu L and mu L plus 1. Uh, let mu and mu be two probability distribution of finite even space, and then variable xy be a coupling of mu and nu. Then the distance between mu and nu is bounded by the probability that the x not equal to y. There's, uh, the proof of this lemma can be found in previous paper. We now briefly discuss our intu intuition between the improved security bound. In Hong and Rogerway's proof, uh, they use uh, every to be wrong to guarantee in each coupling trail, the probability that coupling fail is very small. But we discovered that uh, uh, every B wrong is already enough to achieve these papers. The only uh, thing that we need to is just uh, analyze the first B wrong. I uh, think the output of the B wrong is already somewhat red and collision free. Uh, so we can reduce the number of wrong in each of foreign trial in the coupling energies. But to achieve this, we need to uh, analyze uh, more fine grain in the internal condition. Because the, for us to be wrong, it is uh, relatively easy to analyze the internal condition. But for the reduced wrong, it becomes more complicated. Uh, here is, uh, so we need, we need a more fine grain analysis of internal collision. Here is our lemma. We prove that the conditional probability yeah, can be nicely bounded. 
Here arrow is the number of query this has made to the cipher before the coupling. And by using a similar idea, we can improve the security bounds for alternating type 1, type 2, type 3 fake tails. And for the TBC based face tail, we need to define two bad events. Here we only dis uh we only discuss the crucial point in our proof. For the more detail, uh we refer to our papers. Uh, we need to define two bad events. The first one is happened. The first one is happened when the when the output of the ice tick representation collide with previous output and and also when the output of the i plus one permutation collide with previous output. Uh this this the first bit even involves the the involves the first block cipher and the second block cipher. Uh for the second bit even similarly uh, the bad event happens when the outputs of the ice predictable permutation collide with previous output in the first cycle, and the output of the i plus two cycle collides with previous output uh, in the second cycle. Uh, we learn a uh, couple according to four subcases when the none of the bad event happens. Uh, there is some intuition. As you can see, if both the bi and the di uh, are collision free, then the output of the i plus one print representation is the written uh, string, and this also holds for the second cipher. So if these two are collision for A, we can assign the B L plus one to the D I plus one. And for the remaining three cases we can also discuss because uh they when there are some difference but they are distributed in the same space. There's a disk detail discussion in our paper. And uh, at this stage you uh we need to bound the bad event the probability of the bad event. Since if the bad event not happen, so we can then we can couple successfully. Uh to bound the bad events, we need to we for define for for sub events that the number of trick the yes this the number of duplicate trick is not greater than the stretch hall C and the intuition is that when the number of repeat trick is small then the output the output for the trick for presentation under this trick will be uh written. Here is our result. Uh, when the number of repeated tricks is more than C, uh, we, if the final threshold is C, then we can obtain the probability of the bad event is more than, than this 10. And by using uh, exactly the, the same procedure, we can prove the second event is also bounded by this 10. And for our conclusion, uh, we we show the improved security bound for generalized face tail. Uh, for unbalanced alternating type one, type two, and type three face tail, we improve the coupling analysis of Hong and Rogovi. We use a more fine grained uh, internal collision analyze to achieve the asymptotical optimal bound with nearly half number of bounds. And for a TBC-based face tail, 
we give the first uh, coupling analyze, and then we prove that this construction can achieve the 2 MB security with enough number of runs. The, the coupling technique is useful to analyze many run phase tail, but usually the bond uh, obtained by this, tech, by this technique is not very tight. So our feature work is to give a tighter analyze for the coupling technique. Or maybe if we can refine the coupling technique, it will be better. And the second feature work is to consider a small number of runs. Since uh, not unsurprisingly, the coupling te technique needs to cause uh, many runs to achieve the optimal security. So maybe we can use other methods such as chi square method or the popular edge coefficient technique to achieve the same security bound with a much smaller number of runs. So that's it. And thank you for your listening.